everybody. My name is Taylor Carley. This is Chit Chat Thursdays with Taylor. In this episode, I'll be talking about the access here in Mississippi State. And I'm going to welcome Miss Becca and Tyler. How are y'all? We're doing good. Thanks for having us. Good. Wonderful. Miss Becca, what is the access program and what, how did it start? Sure. Access program is a four-year program for students with intellectual disabilities here at Mississippi State. Um, students live on campus with everyone else. We have students spread across both sides of campus. Um, they take classes through Access as well as auditing classes um, with the rest of the student body based on their areas of interest. Um, students are really involved with different social things on campus. We have students that are members of fraternities and sororities, parts of clubs and organizations. Um, we started in 2010 with just one student, um, and we're looking at, we have 23 students coming to join us here in August. So we've definitely grown oh. and are excited to, to have them all on campus here in just a matter of weeks. <laughs> that is fantastic to hear. I'm so glad that they're going to college, getting the college yes, life. Absolutely. <laughs> and you already answered my question, how many students are enrolled here in 2018? Yep, 23. We have 23. of uh, Eight of those are freshmen coming in, mm -hmm. and the other 15 are returning students from last year. Wonderful. Yeah. This is exciting it news, is. everybody. <laughs> Tyler, why did you want to be part of Access? Um, to help me live my own, get education. People told me I couldn't go to college. I did. Um, this is the best program in the country. That's, that's why I tell everybody. Um, it's taught, it's, it's the best program in the country. So that's why I'm choosing. That's fantastic. Everybody deserves higher education no matter what. That's wonderful. Tyler, what has been your experience so far? Man, oh man. I got, I, I have an internship at Mississippi State Football. Um, that's what they got me. Um, you got yourself, so, Tyler. Uh, I was going to say that. He went and interviewed for that internship, and he secured it all on secured. his own. Awesome. Now I'm a full, t after that internship, now I'm a full-time football manager at Mississippi State. Um, we, they taught me how to live my own. They taught me um, I take classes, take every little thing that can make me a successful person out after college and hopefully we can hopefully we can get apartment after this year and like Alan and Michaela and we can achieve it and we live in I live in quiet so we'll be all good this year. Yeah, it'll be the first time that our students have had roommates so this Tyler's going to have three of them. They live in a quad suite this year. So it'll be kind of like a mini apartment on campus, which is this very This is exciting. wonderful that Access has gave you the skills that you needed to go out there and <laughs> do what you got to do. That is awesome. Miss Becca, if someone was interested in applying to Access, how would they do that? Sure, that's a great question. Um, the first thing I would suggest is checking out our website. It's access.msstate.edu. Um, we've got a lot of really good information on there, um, including steps to follow in, if you wanted to apply for the program. The biggest thing I could suggest would be attending our open house. We have it scheduled for Friday, October 26th. It's from 10 to 3 here on campus. You'll get to meet all the wonderful students that we have, a ton of our staff members. You get a tour of this beautiful campus um, and learn all about the exciting things we have going on here. Um, our application window this year opens October 1st and closes December 1st, so um, it's coming up here soon. Um, there's some tips on there on how to kind of start getting prepped and ready to go um, to, to submit your application if you're interested. Um, so I would definitely start with checking all that information out on the website though. That is great resources mm -hmm. for my viewers. Is there any advice from each of y'all would you like to give to our audience? Do you want to start? You, you want me to start? <laughs> well, my, my tips or advice would be to, to challenge yourself and push yourself to be as independent as possible. Um, do what you can for yourself. You can do your own laundry and start helping your parents cook at home. Um, if your parents give you an allowance, practice you know planning for your spending and budgeting. A lot of those skills that you'll need when you live on your own 
Um, and if parents are watching, do the same for your students, you know, encourage them to help you in the kitchen or to, to help out around the house, give them chores. I'm sure the students don't want to hear that, but do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the more things you can be doing now to help prepare for living that independent life, the better. Get out and volunteer or try to find a part-time job if that's an option in your community. Um, but there's, it seems like there's always ways to kind of get involved, um, whether it be in your school or your community. Um, the more things you can be doing now, the easier that transition to college or to lead in, in an independent life um, that that will be. Wonderful. What about you, Tyler? <laughs> I, I absolutely agree with it. Um, access is a, is a competition getting in, but you can easily get in, like what she said, help out around the house, budget, and all things can help you get in access and do good in high school. Make good grades and all things and you'll be set and go. That's wonderful advice, Tyler. Thank y'all so much for being part of this episode. Yeah, thank you for having us. It's been a wonderful opportunity for me to meet y'all guys and thank y'all so much. Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. For more information, please check us out at www.usm.edu slash disability dash studies. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell for more updates and check out our main IDS Facebook page. My name is Taylor Carly signing out.